Hi guys, Relitza here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at your ultimate soulmate, which is a topic that I am so excited about. Um, word to the wise, this is like the third time I've tried to film this video, so hopefully everything goes well. I would love to hear if it resonates with you, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, remember, this is your ultimate soulmate, so if you haven't met this person yet, that's fine. It's just something to look forward to. I'm really excited, so make sure that you go back to the start, pick your pile, and I will go ahead and start with pile one. Pile one, I will see you there. So thankful to you guys for being here with me. I really, really appreciate all of your support, and I will go ahead and start with pile one. See you there, pile one. Hi Pile Ones, how are you guys today? Um, so in today's pile, we're going to be taking a look at your soulmate. We are going to go ahead and start with tarot, then get into oracle and channeled messages. You guys ready? Let's go. Starting off, we have the Ten of Wands. Your person has recently undergone some kind of a deep transformation. They are quite, quite tired, busy, overworked. A real need to reinstate balance. Strength. Person could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sag. It's like this person has recently undergone some kind of a transformation where they are figuring out that they have been overburdening themselves with too many things. This person is a very hard worker but they also have a lot of responsibilities and a lot of burdens placed on them. So this is causing them to feel quite overwhelmed and quite tired. With strength coming here, this person is incredibly strong. Like they have gone through a lot of things and they have really earned their chance to be, you know, a really, really important person. This person could really like the sunshine. There's the sun in both of these, if you can see that. So they could be somebody who likes warm climates or live or come from a warm climate. Um, they like to be outside a lot. I'm also getting that this person is quite physically active. Temperance, what did I say? Balance. Sagittarius card here represented. This person again could be a fire sign. It's like this person is recently realizing that there is a side of their life that has been incredibly imbalanced and they are really looking to put together a more balanced life at this time. They, it's like they're looking at all of their responsibilities and saying, what is it that I can take off of this, this plate so that I am able to meet my soulmate? This person is quite an outgoing person. They have a loud personality. This is a person who walks in the room and you notice them. This is definitely, we have two major arcanas here. So they're quite, you know, a big, jargarious person. I don't know why I said big. I don't think they're physically big, but they they just like have a big personality. Two of Swords, for many of you, I feel like you don't know this person yet. This person could be currently thinking about making some sort of a decision. I really think this person is reassessing their life right now, trying to figure out what direction they want to move in. I think they're just realizing that they have been overburdening themselves and that this is creating a lot of um, stagnation for them. By the way, Pile One, this was your stone. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Queen of Swords. For some of you, this person could be leaving a long-term partnership. This is just for some of you with an air sign woman, or they're currently really wanting or looking for somebody who is an air sign or has these qualities. They are looking for someone who is intelligent, who can hold down the fort. For some of you, if you feel you know this person, you've not been in communication with them for quite some time, they're hoping for um, communication with you. And yeah, with the Eight of Swords, I feel that there's one of two scenarios. Either you do not know this person yet, they're currently really in the process of manifesting you. For those of you who know this person, and this is a person from your past, you're not in contact. We do have a lot of Swords cards here. This does bring to mind the Air Signs. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I do feel like you guys, I feel like there will be almost like an opposites attract here. I think one of you has strong fire in the chart. One of you might have strong air in the chart. So there is this kind of fanning the flames connection. 
or this person could be in a relationship right now with this type of a person and they're kind of looking to escape because there is a sense here with all of these swords cards um, that there has been harsh words exchanged here. Again, take that as it resonates. This is really a person who's trying to create more balance in their life right now. And I think that they will need to be in a more balanced state before you guys can come into union. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. You have a king. Look at these colors. Don't they remind you of the sun? This person has been through a lot. They have really worked hard to get to where they are. And they deserve this title of king or queen. Like this might be a person who is a little bit older. This could be a person who also has an established career. And again, look at the sun colors. So this person could have quite a sunny personality, but they are someone who has worked really hard to get to where they are. Um, and they, I feel like this person might be your age or slightly older. They've worked incredibly hard to gain all of the success that they have. They deserve the titles that they have. They deserve the accolades that they have. But I feel like this is more in a career sense. I don't feel like this person feels like they've accomplished much romantically purpose. I know what I am here to do. Wow. It's like this person has recently come to an understanding of what it is that they're here to do. And part of that involves meeting you. So you guys, this is also a very purple card. You could be having dreams about this person or this person and you could be connecting in a dream space. This person does have a big purpose here. It's like they were put on earth to do something very, very big. And this does involve partly why they have such a jargarious, outgoing personality. That's very important for their purpose. Some of you could think this person's very flirty is what I'm saying, but that's just their personality. I feel like this person, when they commit, they're incredibly committed. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah, it's, I really feel like this person has recently come to this understanding that they are just overburdening themselves with all of this stuff. And they really need to fulfill their purpose, but they cannot do it if they're always having all of these things that they're doing. So they're really looking at how they can change their environment in order to bring you into their life, pile one. We have a lot of orange here, so a lot of creative energy. This always reminds me of the sacral chakra. We also had the third eye here with the purple. So really feeling like you guys will be connected on those levels. Let's see what else we have here. <laughs> Drama. This person could have some Leo in their chart. Again, I'm getting a lot of fire energy here. Yeah, this person has a big personality, like I said, but I really feel like it's just part of who they are, A, and B, it's very important that they're like this because they need to be like this in order to fulfill their purpose here on earth. You guys could have quite a dramatic connection. There could be a lot of going back and forth, a lot of arguing, um, <laughs> but I feel like the bark is worse than the bite here, to be honest. Secrets, Scorpio energy here coming through. Some of you could have Scorpio placements. Yeah, this person, they're more layered than what they seem to be on the surface. So I would, I feel like this person presents one, one image to the world, but secretly they're really a lot more complex than they let on. I think that they will let you see that side of you, but they don't really feel comfortable showing that side to them. Um, of them to a lot of different people. Revenge, eighth house again. So strong Scorpio placements or eighth house placements here. You guys could have a conjunction or something to do with an eighth house here with your partner. The physical connection here will be incredibly strong and incredibly complex and layered. So just for those of you who that is something that you're looking for, I feel like this will be a very, very passionate connection. And we do have two cards here representing Scorpio, so that person could have that sign heavy in their chart, or you could take it as it resonates. Enthusiasm, Sun and Sagittarius. Again, we have another <laughs> we have another fire sign card. So I do feel like this person does have a lot of fire in their chart. 
this person is planning on making a move somehow in their life. They've not really told anyone yet. With the Sagittarius Sun and Sag card, this person could, um, Sag to me is always represented of a foreigner, or I always think of travel far away. So this person could be foreign from you or have a different cultural background than you. I think that this will be quite a layered connection. This person is currently undergoing an evolution of self though. For those of you who know this person but haven't spoken to them for a while, this person is still in the middle of that cycle and they will need some time before coming forward to you. Um, you guys really will have a lot you need to talk about here. For those of you who do not know this person, I would say this person is still in the middle of this transformation, but they are on their way because they're a person when they decide to do something, they do it. Let's get some channeled messages. Tell me about Pile One's ultimate soulmate. Pile one's ultimate soulmate here. Whoa, that's a lot, spirit. Okay, let's start there. I have a lot of air energy in my chart. We did have all of those swords cards come through, so you could have air, or this person could have a lot of air in their chart. I did mention that before. I want to spend every moment of every day with you. That's that eighth house energy coming through. This person could be quite interested in, you know, kind of that enveloping relationship where all they want to do is be with you. There are some underlying mental issues I'm working through right now. Yeah, like I feel like this person is incredibly burdened by a lot of things in their life. It's like they really need a chance to pivot. I want to spoil you with everything you could ever want. Gift giving is important to me. So this person, one of their love languages could be giving gifts. You could be getting a lot of gifts from them. They do feel like a quite outgoing person. So I feel like that does go in line with them spoiling you. I want to take this to the next level. So if this is someone in your past you are not talking to, they are thinking about how to come back pile one, how to come back and take this relationship to a new level. I am coming towards you. What did I just say? I can't make that up. We can't be together right now. It's just not possible. So yeah, like I said, I really do feel like this person is currently trying to change a lot of, a lot of things in their life in order to come towards you. This is very important for them. This is very important for you, but this person does need to be in the right mindset for you, pile one. I do really feel that. I'm athletic. I grew up playing a lot of sports and I like to work out or play sports now. I think I did say that earlier. I feel like this person has quite an athletic frame or they could be quite, a, you know, an outdoorsy person for some of you. I'm ambitious and I'll stop at nothing to get what I want, including you. Yep, I was definitely picking up on this person really reaching a high level in their career and I'm not surprised to see them apply that same level of focus on you. I'm only critical of you because I'm critical of me. Yep, if this person has air in their charts, they could sometimes say things um, and come across quite harshly towards you, but I feel like this person is very hard on themselves. They've had to do a lot in order to reach this king status. I'm a bit rebellious and skeptical. This may annoy you. So this person could kind of, you know, you could say something to this person, they could really be like, well, why do you believe that? Like, they're very much like, well, why? Why do you think like that? Like this kind of energy. They're very smart though. I like this person's energy. There are too many red flags in this connection. So some of you could be feeling concerned or especially if this is a person from your past, I do think that there is a lot of stuff that happened there that led to the separation. But I do want you to know that this person has done a lot of work and so have you. So if this person does come forward, I would say to give it another chance. So pile one, that is what I have for you. Please comment down below if that resonated. Make sure to subscribe and just, yeah, say hello. I love reading your comments. They make me so happy. See you next video. Bye. Hi Pile Twos, welcome to your reading. If you chose this green stone, then this is your reading. Um, we're going to start with the tarot cards today, then get into oracles, and then messages at the end. So let's just dive right into it. All right, who is Pile Two's ultimate soulmate? First off, we have the sun here. Beautiful card, Leo energy right on the deck. 
a really happy personality. This person brings a lot of joy to the people around them. They're quite bright. They enter the room. Everybody notices them. This is this is a, a good, a great start, actually. The sun is the happiest card in the deck for me. So this person just brings a lot of happiness, and they will bring a lot of happiness to you as well. Wheel of Fortune, we have Sag Energy as well as Jupiter up on the board here. This person will come into your life in a very unexpected way and they will be bringing you so much joy. You might even meet this person when you're traveling in the summertime or when you're at a sunny place, especially if you don't live in a sunny place right now. This person has a lot of changes happen in their life. In fact, I think a lot of people would consider this person incredibly lucky. Um, they might even be very, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but why, they might even win a lot of things or they just have this kind of personality of always being at the right place at the right time. And so even the way you guys meet, it will feel very much, uh, very synchronistic, very much like set up by spirit, which I think with these two cards, spirit is having a very, very big part in you two meeting. My voice is going down a little bit. It's getting a little bit scratchier. So I feel like this person could have a very low voice or something about their voice could be very distinct. With the nine of cups here, beautiful energy. I love this, these cards, this person um, for you represents a wish come true. So what I want to say right now is if you have not done your work in thinking about what you want in a person, that you really sit and you start to do some of that work because what's going to happen here is this person will manifest. So this is a wish come true to you, pile two. So remember, what it is, what do you want? What do you actually want in your long-term partner? Because whatever it is this person is going to manifest for you. I also think this person has been wishing to meet someone like you for a very long time. Very happy energy right now. This person is quite happy, I think. Six of Pentacles. This person has just been plodding along, working. They really desire balance in their connections. This is very important to them. So they're going to be looking at this connection and hoping that it does bring a sense of balance into their life. I think while this person is very lucky, they haven't met anyone quite like you. So they're just kind of going along their lives, letting things happen, but really hoping and wishing that they are meeting someone like you soon. This person has a very frenetic energy. They could like to go, go, go a lot. They feel very busy to me. So this could be someone who's like, let's go here, let's go there. Like that kind of like, you know, not really resting energy. Three of Cups here. This person, again, will just bring you a lot of joy and happiness. There's a sense of celebration when you meet this person. You could even meet this person at an event, at a wedding, at some sort of a group gathering. I know we are in the middle of a pandemic right now, but take that as it resonates. I just feel like this person brings unparalleled joy and happiness into your life, Pile 2. I love this energy. Very happy-go-lucky. This person could just fluke into situations. They're kind of a go-with-the-flow kind of person. But they do a lot of their manifesting sort of on the mental level. Like they could sit and think about what it is that they want for a long period of time. I advise you to do the same thing too, especially if you don't know this person. Wow, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a hard-working person. They could even be studying something right now. They could be learning something um, or they could just be working really, really hard. So I feel like this person, again, they just kind of go with the flow. But right now their focus is kind of on work and kind of on manifesting you. Like it's like they go back and forth, but they don't really focus too much on one thing at a time because they are so busy. Like they just feel like a very, very busy person. I think you're going to be quite surprised by the level of happiness this person brings to you, Pile 2. I feel like you almost didn't believe that a person could bring you this much happiness. And I think that's kind of cute and also sad because they are just going to bring you so much joy. There will be a lot of activity with this person. You guys will be going out a lot. They're, they're just a very busy, busy, busy person. They could like to go outside. Um, they feel like just they're always on the move, like this kind of... Like this is the person who will say, this new restaurant opened up, do you want to go to it? You know, and you're just kind of like, okay. There, There's a, a good balance here of water, earth, and fire. So they could have those three prominent in their chart. 
Let's see what we can get from the oracles here. The eternal child. Beautiful. So this person could have a childlike energy to them. They could have a spark of, you know, happiness. They could like to play. Like this feels like a very playful, joyous person. This is also my card indicating that there could be a potential for children in this connection. Take that as it resonates. Like, look at that. It just looks like a little spark. Like this person just sparks up your life. They bring you so much joy. They bring you so much happiness. This card actually also really reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune here with the circles, both of them. So I just feel like this person is very, very lucky. And I also think that you will feel very lucky to know this person. Like you will be counting your lucky stars that you met them. I think the way you meet will be very serendipitous and surprising. But I do feel like this person will bring you so much joy that... You won't even really, like, they just feel like they really brighten up your life. I like this energy. Wow, courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Look at the colors there. And again, we have the same sort of circular shape. I feel like this person has just gone through a lot. Like, they, their personality really shines. When they enter a room, you know that they're there. But they also feel like a very good-hearted person. Um, strong Leo energy here. Like, they just feel like they lead with their heart. Spirit is really watching over this connection. So if you have not met this person yet, I want you to not worry because this person, this is like a very divinely protected connection, I feel. So when you meet this person, when you meet this person will be the time you're meant to meet this person. Pile 2, I really like this energy. This person feels really, really wonderful. Balance. I bring a sense of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So this person is really working on balancing themselves. This feels very li like Libra to me. So you could have Libra in your chart somewhere or they could have Libra in their chart. But it feels like kind of feels like this is your person, like this is kind of your other half. Like when you meet this person, a lot of your life comes into balance. I don't 100% resonate with um, Twin Flames, but I do feel like for some of you, this could be that kind of connection where you meet this person and all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, <sighs> there it is. You're my person. Like I have been waiting for you for a really long time. This person just feels like a secure person. Like they've had secure attachment style. Like they're just sort of ready to meet you. Extremism. We have eighth house energy here. Scorpio energy coming through. This person will see you and they will definitely go after you. There could be some resistance on your end here because I think you'll be so surprised to have met this person. Again, I just feel like with this bird over here, spirit is just really watching over this connection. So even if you think that this person is like that, there's no way a person as good as this exists. I just really, really want you to allow yourself to go forward with this connection because it's such a crucial thing for you. This person, they might write you poems. Um, they might send you love letters. There is that energy here of somehow courting you through written words, long lengthy texts. Health, we have Sun and Virgo. That could be you or this person. Um, again, I'm more looking at the sun here. Beautiful. This person really values their health. They take good care of themselves. Again, this is a person who could be athletic, who could like to go outside a lot. We have a lot of sun energy here, so they could like to spend a lot of time outside. This person wants to have a healthy, balanced relationship. And I think, again, that this person, like something, something about you meeting them, it just adds so much to your life. Like you guys could really value health too. And the two of you could do a lot of health things together. Like you could prep healthy meals, go outside for long walks. Like I just feel like you feel so much better once you know this person physically and within your body. Affair, we have Leo energy here. So yeah, I just feel like this will just be a really, really strong connection from both ends. It's like this person is just crazy about you from the get-go. And I do feel like there will be a little bit of resistance on your part, but I want you to know that this is just not this. I feel like you'll think this is too good to be true, but this is not too good to be true because this is your person. We have resourcefulness here. 
sun and cancer. So this person could have a sun and cancer, you could have sun and cancer, or cancer energy is coming through. You are will very likely build a home with this person. This is a very resourceful person. This person might not be extremely wealthy or something along these lines, but they always have enough, partially because they are so intelligent. They know how to get what they want and they're they're just like like this would be a very stable connection. Like this connection just feels like balance. This feels like marriage, this feels like children. This feels very much like that kind of energy pile too. So if that's not what you want from this person, I suggest picking another pile because this just feels like a grounded person. Let's get some channeled messages here. Tell me about pile two's ultimate soulmate here. Tell me about pile two's ultimate soulmate. Perfect, one more, thank you. Let's see what we got here. I'm good looking and I know it. And I love to be part like I love to be the life of the party. My smile lights up a room. Yeah, so this person, like I said, they kind of know that they're the sun energy. They know they can come into a room and everyone will just be like, oh my gosh, here's this person. So <laughs> Fall. Some of you could meet this person in the fall, or fall could be a very important time. I'm hearing some of you could be married in the fall, or you want to get married in the fall. I can be a little loud, and I love to be the life of a party. Yeah, sun energy here. I love to exercise, and I value body health. I swear, you guys, I don't pull these cards before, but look. This person likes to take care of their body. They like to work out. They like to look good. Like this is a person who really, this is an attractive person. I think a lot of you will find this person very attractive. My family has something to say about this. So family could be important in this connection. They could speak up in this connection. This person could be close to their family or on the flip side have sort of issues with their family they're looking to overcome. Every time I see you, my heart skips a beat. Very sweet energy. This person will really like you. I am obsessed with your beauty. This person really likes you. They like they like the way you look, pile two. I focus a lot on work. It's always been important to me and I like to be successful. Yeah, like I said, this person is really a resourceful person. They like to work. They like to put money away. They're, they probably have, you know, a savings account. They probably have RRSPs or, you know, 401k. Like, yeah, I feel like this person is a hard worker. Like, I don't doubt that at all. You wouldn't consider me book smart, but don't worry, I'm highly street smart. So this person, maybe they don't have the degrees, but something about them just reeks of smartness. Like they know what they're doing. They are quite an intelligent person. I feel like this is a person who can read the room quite well. You are my muse. So for some of you, this person considers you their muse. And you're way too good for me. So I feel like this might be, I'm feeling more that this is your energy. It's like you don't even believe like a person like this could exist they do pile to and guess what they're coming for you so that's what I have for you today I hope that resonated comment like and subscribe if it did I would love to hear about your thoughts on this person I will see you next video bye hi bio threes welcome to your reading if you chose this beautiful carnelian then this is your reading on who your ultimate soulmate is so today we are going to go ahead and get started with the tarot and then go into the oracles um thank you for being here and let's just go ahead and dive right in two of cups pile three this person is for sure your soulmate this is the soulmate card so congratulations there will feel like a very, very strong bond with this person. When you meet this person, you will feel like, wow, you are my person. Like I have been waiting for you a long time. There will be an instant soul recognition. So this will be like, you might even lock eyes with this person or feel a very strong connection with them and not really know why. I'm hearing destined. So for some of you, this has been a destined connection written in your chart since birth. Four of Swords. Wow. This person has not been dating very many people and neither probably have you is kind of the energy I'm getting. There might have even been a break from both of you guys for dating. Like you could have been like, I'm kind of tired with the dating scene. I need to take a break. 
This person is currently undergoing a sense of rest and rejuvenation. They could be recovering from an illness. They could just be sort of taking, taking extra time to sort of figure out what it is that they need in their life. This is a very contemplative energy. So I feel like this person is currently taking a lot, a lot of, a lot of breaks, a lot of naps, a lot of um, dreaming. They could even be dreaming about you with this energy here of the Two of Cups as well. They're tired. This person is a hard worker and they're taking a break. Something about this person right now is break. It's on a break. If you ha feel like I can't even talk, so you and this person could have trouble communicating or this person maybe might not be the most articulate. articulate. Um, if you know this person, you guys might be on a break right now. Or this connection could be on a break. I don't look at these cards before. I'm sorry, pile three. Four of Swords again. Yeah, so for many of you, you don't know this person yet. Again, if you look at the Four of Swords here, we have the Three Swords and he's sleeping on the One Sword, which just means that something has not been said here or the full information is not known. If you do know this person, I don't think the two of you have had a talk about what this connection means to you. Or for many of you, I feel like you just don't know this person yet. Both of you are currently undergoing a big period of rest and rejuvenation. So I don't want you to kick yourselves in the butt for not knowing this person yet because currently the work you're doing is so important and will help bring this person to you even more quickly. Again, you guys might be dreaming about each other. Ten of Wands, yeah, very, very overburdened this person is. I feel like they are currently... Um, they're trying to drop a lot of these burdens. They have just been running themselves thin. And this could apply for you as well. Because I do feel like this could be a twin flame connection. The energy feels very mirrored. So there could be a sense of working, working, working. Or just taking on so much responsibility that you're just like feeling super, super tired and overburdened. And you're ready to let go of these, so these swords. I almost said, wow. These wands. Um, there's just a sense of really feeling tired. I am picking up loneliness here as well, even though none of these cards really indicate it. So I feel like both of you are feeling very lonely right now. Temperance. Big need here for balance in this connection. Big need to balance inside both of you as well. So some of you, again, might be recovering from illness, might be really trying to, to rein in an addi addiction I'm hearing right now. There is aspects of both of your lives right now that are extremely unbalanced. So you guys might be working on those aspects in order to help bring your life back in balance. There is massive healing in this connection. It's like when the two of you meet each other, you're going to feel a really big kindred s sense of of like, oh, this is my person. Like there is a really strong need, um, a really strong feeling and connection here. But a lot of you are currently doing inner work right now. And same with your person. Your person is doing a lot of inner work. And then we have the Six of Wands, beautiful. Beautiful energy. It's like this person realized that they were wearing themselves thin, investing energy in the wrong things. So they took a break, they took a step back, and now they're currently trying to give back to themselves and they're trying to re decide where do I want to invest my energy. This will lead to a feeling of a victory. So for many of you, you don't know this person yet because there, it's just not time. Like the, a lot, both of you are doing very, very intense work here. But when this person comes into your life, it's going to feel like such a victory. This is a hardworking person. They like to be resourceful. But it's almost like they give and they give and they give and they give too much of themselves. And so there's always a need for this person to kind of take their energy back and just create a sense of balance in their life. I think that this is something they really struggle with. And they're, they're just trying to be healed. They really want to be whole when they enter a connection. So they're doing a lot of shadow work they could even be working on. Very interesting energy. Let's get into oracles. The orphan. This person might, like there is, again, I'm getting that sense of loneliness. This person could feel very isolated. They could feel very alone right now. They could feel like a lot of the work that they're doing is just, just like no one is recognizing the work that they're doing. But spirit definitely is. 
there's a need of this person feeling like they have to do everything on their own which is why I think that when they meet you this will feel like such an important connection because you won't let them do just these things on their own it's like you really value a sense of community you value a sense of um union with this person like this will be very very important for you you want them to feel well taken care of and I don't think this person has had that pile three I think you'll add so much to this person's life that they will be so lucky they'll feel so lucky to have you honesty I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself yeah it's like this person had an epiphany they had an epiphany and this epiphany really caused them to take a step back and look at their life and really reassess the direction they're going in. This person is resting, they're coming up with a plan and this plan will involve or somehow put you to a union. I think this person has learned and faced a lot of really hard truths. This is quite an evolved person, they're, they're quite an evolved soul. This is a person who's put in the work. It's a tough energy. I don't think this person has quite had quite an easy life. So I'm really um, proud of this person for the work that they're putting in. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Yeah, it's like this person recently understood there was quite a lot of things. It's like they took a hard look at their life, their own life, and they realized that there was quite a bunch of things that they needed to change in order to be the person that they wanted to be, the person that gets you, the person that, you know, comes into union with their, with their person. So I commend this person for doing this work because they are doing very, very intense work right now. And I feel like a lot of you guys as well might currently be undergoing a period of your life where you're putting in really intense work. So I just want to say well done if this is the case, because this is really hard. I feel this energy. It feels hard, but the what's on the other side is just incredible. It's the two of you coming together. It's this really positive life. So I'm really, really excited for that. Let's see what else we have here. Influence. Seventh house energy here. Libra. I think this person just has kind of fluked into situations in their life that might not be the best situations. Like I almost get this energy of like this person being influenced by friends, influenced by past, you know, connections, like just being pushed in directions where they might not necessarily want to go, but somehow they just end up going. So I think that the, the positivity that comes from this connection with you will really surprise this person. Practicality, 10th house energy. This person will really wanting, they'll really want to ground this connection down very, very fast is what I'm hearing. So for many of you, you could be like, well, why do you want to move so quickly? There's just a sense of this person really wanting to have a life with you. They really want to plant and sort of plant seeds for a really successful foundation. You could be the ones that are kind of like, whoa, wait, like we have time to do this. Don't worry. But they're very, very focused on building a very positive connection with you. I think they'll want to move this connection very quickly is what I'm hearing. Originality, we have some Aquarius here coming through. This person is a very unique thinker. They have gone through a lot. Um, I think that the way the, the conversations and the connection that you guys have is very original. It feels very um, almost otherworldly. This connection feels very intense. This person would surprise you, I think, with the things that they're thinking, the things that they're saying. They're quite intelligent, um, but they have very far-reaching ideas. I think that this person hasn't really been very, they haven't really shared a lot of these ideas with other people. I think this will be a side that you're very surprised. This person could even be into spirituality for some of you. Or they could be interested in exploring metaphysics, the occult, meditation, like just something like this. Like they, they feel like quite, quite big thinkers here. This is not someone who thinks small, even though they might come off like that. This is somebody who has a lot of ideas with where it is that they want to go in life. Flirtation here, beautiful. I feel like this will start off as a flirtation for some of you. 
But I also, again, it's just because we started here with Two of Cups, I think that there will always be this underlying sense of this connection is a bigger than what I think it is, um, which will surprise both of you, but there will be almost like an instant knowing that this connection has a lot of clout. I feel for most of you who haven't met this person yet because both of you are doing inner work. Let's get some channeled messages. How many about pile for each person? Perfect, thank you. Let's see what we have here. You scare me. So there could be a little bit of like, oh my gosh, what am I going to be doing in this connection? Like this is just too intense for me. Because I don't think either of you have ever been in a connection like this before. You've truly changed my life. Yeah, this person will feel like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I've met someone like you. Like they are just intensely, intensely, intensely in love. It like you'll be like a victory to them. They won't they like it's like they've never thought that they could have anyone like you. I want to leave this in the past. So for a lot of them, they're currently going through a lot of stuff that they're wanting to sort of leave in the past. They don't want to bring any of these negative habits into this new connection with you. People would consider me conventionally attractive. So that's good. For some of you, this person is quite attractive. Not really getting like, I feel like this person could be around your age or slightly older. There doesn't feel like a big age gap here. There is something distinctive about my face. I was just looking again at this card here. So this person could have a very distinct nose or something about their face really stands out. I'm an activist of sorts. I value community. Yeah, this person, especially with that originality and the Aquarius vibes coming through here, they could really value their community or be looking towards making a community impact. I love, 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 love your body. Wowza. So there will be that a physical connection here for sure. I want to run away with you. So this person could want to keep this connection to themselves, want to really home into this connection. They're, they could be someone who's like, I don't want to leave the house today, honey. Let's just stay in and just enjoy each other. I'm deeply spiritual, religious. Yep, I did say that earlier. I think this person could have, you know, quite some far reaching ideas, I think, about religion or spirituality. I love you. Beautiful. That's the only pile this came out in. So I love that. If you want to be with me, you'll have to impress my family first. <laughs> so there could be a sense here of this person really wanting you to fit in with their family or family being very important to this person. I have a lot of fire energy in my chart, so that could be you or, or this person. Interesting. I wasn't picking up on a lot of fire, so that's interesting. This connection is too intense. I need a break. Yeah, for some of you who do recognize this as a soul connection, I do feel like you'll be a little bit... Like, oh my gosh, let's take a step back, especially because I feel this person will want to move very, very quickly with you. Um, and you're kind of going to be like, whoa, take a chill pill, dude. We'll get there. I like to work out and take care of my body. I am very fit. So this person could be very fit, very athletic. They, We did have that conventionally attractive. So that's what I have for you today, pile three. Very exciting stuff. I like this person. I like this energy. This is a really, this person has gone through a lot, so they deserve a chance with you. That's what I have for you today. Comment down below if it liked. Um, I mean, if it resonated, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.